What's up guys, this is the second part of my first tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the Morlefine base. I started by ripping up some pieces of cork plate and deciding where I wanted to put them. I've toyed with the idea of having some kind of string through the middle, but ultimately didn't bother. But yeah, just cool looking uh, pieces of cork plate because it kind of looks like bits of, um, bits of broken building and walls and stuff. Straightened out a, uh, a paper clip, which I'll then put into one of the sides of one of the cork plates to look like uh, pieces of steel that have um, snapped off when the building or whatever it was has fallen down. The next bit I did was created some kind of beam. Um, I got these from a model store, a local one that makes stuff for trains. And um, they're just like H bars. I don't know what they're actually called, but um, they actually look really good as uh, like support beams and buildings and stuff. So I've just glued them together, made them look like a once part of a building. And it worked as a, uh, a grip for the morlefine to stand up better and be better uh, attached to the base. I then primed the base with Vallejo uh, black primer. The next step was dry brushing the piece pieces of concrete with cold grey from Vallejo Game Colour. I then used wolf grey from Galileo Game Color going around picking out some of the edges um, on the concrete. The final step on the dry brushing was just picking out a couple of random edges just with some white. The beams were then painted with Vallejo Model Air steel. I'll then put uh, Vallejo pigment burnt umber all over the concrete parts to dirty them up a little bit. It was then sealed with a matte varnish.
The next step was painting matte medium onto the beams which were then covered with Vallejo rust coloured pigments and um, really caked them on uh, so it, the uh, corrosion builds and looks more realistic. The same was done on the outer sides of the beams but just using lighter coloured rust pigment. The next step was combining uh, Woodland Scenics Realistic Water and Games Workshop's Death World Forest. Um, literally just into consistency and tea like the look of it I just use that because it looks kind of like a toxic sludgy messy stuffy stuff if you want to you can get some air bubbles in like you just saw there um, it will dry with air bubbles as well so it kind of looks a little bit more pustulary a bit more gross that's why I left the air bubbles in there The next step was making the snow for the base. I like to use PVA and snow mixed together um, to create a partially melted kind of snow. There's no right and wrong answer to this. You can use as much snow or as much glue as you want to. I like to have kind of like I said quite a runny snow so I add uh, more PVA than I do snow. Uh, the snow I used was the uh, Woodland Scenic Snowflake. And that's it, that's one Death Guard Morlefine base finished. Um, if you like this video, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, I will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Cheers.